What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to Slime Data Ken, this time with Season 3, Episode uh, 10 it looks like. Uh, looking forward to today after the 7 day clergyman and have now come to clear up the uh, kind of mess that they did make. And uh, looking forward to hopefully seeing Diablo as well as Rimuru take them on today. It was a pretty fun episode last time out looking mostly at Diablo. Um, yeah, do let me know what you guys think about this one down in the comment section. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date. See what goes down. Really, him? This guy is such an idiot. He got embarrassed big time by Shion. He's definitely the worst of this lot, isn't he? Apologies, guys. I'm quite ill. Um, have been this whole week. And so there uh, might be a few cuts in today's episode if you can't see by my face. <laughs> Oh, really? Really? The guy that got embarrassed by Shion? What happened to the real one? Or was there never a real one? Are you telling me one of these guys got embarrassed that badly by Shion? Did he let that happen? Or He seems really pissed off, so I feel like he didn't. <laughs> I feel like that just happened to him. Probably. Extermination. Let's go. And uh, yeah, we'll have to skip the opening quickly. Go to 3.58. You know, that was a pretty good uh, little time of movement there, actually. 3.58. I think it's because of all. At all. Oakland's are like 1 minute 30 seconds long, aren't they? They're taking on the 7 day clergy. Do they actually work for the best intention of Luminous then? Again, they're saying all this, but I feel like that's not the case considering what we've seen at the start of this season with Inata and uh, Luminous. Muda, muda. So he did let himself get embarrassed then, right? It's nothing that's doing shit to these guys. Oh. Ah, cool. Oh, 
Well, luckily, we'll, I doubt we'll ever see that happen. Unless Sion gets like mind controlled or something, which isn't beyond the realms of possibility, actually, but. So you just, just made a copy. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's kind of bullshit. That kind of takes away a little bit from that, doesn't it? <laughs> from uh, I was talking about that last episode. Like that's a massive ability to give up. No, I guess we don't. Know. That whole conversation about that is just uh, take it out of the water. Okay. So it's, it's almost like he's talking about like files in a computer. Which I guess they are kind of like, I guess. That, that's kind of bullshit there though, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, we see some face. Can we just kill these guys now, please? These guys have not been great, <laughs> in my humble opinion. Yeah, there she is. As suspected, they're not really under her will. Let's hope Diablo kills these guys. The report. Do your job. <laughs> Just do your job. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Have we give it to him? I like that. 
I'd also like to also like to see some punishment given out here, but <laughs> these guys got quite the fucking stories here. They they got they got well good fucking <laughs> deal here. Get their life saved and do their job really well and have a, a successful headline and such. Like they've got they got a perfect time right here. They're the true winners of all this. Again, usually, like I said, I don't really like these guys because you just know they're going to lose. Like, there's not really much interesting about these guys, to be honest with you. It was, it was a, I had much more interest in Hina's group. But again, they just ended up being used. And they weren't all too powerful anyway, so. But they're much more interesting. That's, that reminds me of Eki Donut. <laughs> Right there. Ow. <laughs> Lovely. You know what? I like that dab though. Well done. So easily done as well. Like, holy crap. <laughs> well, they never met her. You know, he I did, but <laughs> so she actually died. For sure. Jesus, what a terrible situation to get a second into. What, what hit her then? Was that a tsunami or something? Tornado? I imagine it, it was a truck. <laughs> but. What the fuck? What was that about? Did she push him off the cliff? <laughs> what happened there? It's just her at the cliff's edge with his broken glasses. Did he fall by himself? Did she push him? I, I feel like they... I feel like this definitely means something, but it's not really like outwardly said. What happened here? <laughs> I feel like she probably killed him, right? Which is, I mean, I'm, I'm not mad about that, to be honest with you. Killing people is wrong, don't get me wrong. Um, although I've been saying this episode how I'd love to see <laughs> the Seven Day Clergy's dead. That's more from a literary, literacy perspective. Like, you know, I really don't find them interesting. Just want them gone. Um, but, yeah, it's wrong. But, I mean, sometimes is it all that wrong? In this situation, I don't feel, feel that too much. I feel like her snapping back is like, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a splash there as well. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure she pushed him in. 
fair enough. To be honest, fair enough. I'm not sure what it was what I watched, but I did watch a show about like a, a, ch- a child that killed their like parent or something, and uh, people get majorly fucked up. That majorly fucks up your whole life. Again, again, I'm assuming that that's what happened there. I could be wrong. He could have just fell, perhaps, or something. Oh. Mathematician. Oh, damn. I got burnt right down to the bone. Ah, oh, look at this. Yeah, that was a pretty interesting look at Hina's backstory there, wasn't it? Actually, I like that. Again, I find these guys much more interesting than those fucking seven day dickheads. Like a lot of Japanese people are known as that, to be fair. We killed them already. Also, there's no one missing. I imagine with the seven day clergyman, there's seven of them, but we've only seen six. These three, and then the three Diablo killed. Maybe there is just six of them. Okay, good. <laughs> the blessing of death, eh? <laughs> I'm gonna just suck suck them <laughs> suck them up, suck her out. <laughs> okay. No, oh, that was almost a bit too nice of death, honestly. I feel like the one Diablo gave them was much more fitting. Just crush them into a little crystal. Like a paper ball. See, there is one left. He's also got the best voice actor. Oh yeah, it's this guy. Saw him in like one episode, didn't we? I think.
Ah. Disintegrated. Isn't that the technique they tried using? Loyal guy. Fair enough. Oh. Oh, shit. Is that what was going on there? Huh. Interesting. I had no idea about that. So he was like a seven day clergy in disguise. But it's actually his kind of wanting caused that. Okay. And we saw these guys in one episode as well. Maria Bell the Again, I have a feeling these guys are like vampires. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Annabelle from Annabelle. <laughs> that came out this year. Really good horror movie, actually. Really liked it. Oh god, look at that look. <laughs> uh, reminded me a lot of uh, Ready or Not, of course. Same people that directed it. Another fantastic movie. So I did want to see Veldor in action. We haven't seen him too much in action since he got his return to form. But they've been hyping him up like big time. Can't ever get involved in stuff. Never would have gathered that. Oh, okay. <laughs> So it's a give and take process, eh? This isn't what I was talking about when I was saying see in action, by the way. <laughs> Oh, this is maybe the closest thing we've had to it since last season. But even then, it wasn't like. It wasn't a. Ma what the fuck is this? It wasn't a massive part last season. Is, is this the usual ending? Visuals? <laughs> um, I wasn't going to watch it because, uh, again, I'm quite ill. But. Uh, I guess we've got some new visuals here, perhaps. I guess they maybe changed it for the, like the afterwards of this arc. Or maybe, again, it's just because I haven't watched it in a few weeks. I'm, I'm not remembering it, but I feel, like, I feel like a lot of these images are quite new, right? There's, uh, there she is, Luminous. But she's having a peek. <laughs> So I guess we can expect at least one more, at least one more bathtub episode in this show. Or maybe they just put maybe they just put it in a sentence here. I'd appreciate that honestly. I don't I don't usually care for fan service like that. Maybe this is the replacement for that. And yeah, it looks like we're at the classic Japanese place as well, which we did see here now, like a lot earlier on this season, didn't we, sir? So? Okay, what we got next time? Reconciliation and agreement. So yeah, that's like we're gonna have a pretty chill episode next week. Um, I do imagine 
um, after we've had many weeks of, uh, of action. I've had many weeks of setup, a few weeks of action, and I've uh, got to see some kind of aftermath, which is always appreciated. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, again, good episode today. Love to see uh, what happened to the seven day Klagerman. Again, interesting that uh, one of them was actually undercover from the people that we saw a fair few episodes ago. I imagine if I go back and uh, rewatch that scene with them all in that meeting, I'd uh, probably gain a bit more from it. Uh, so I might, might do that afterwards, after this. But um, yeah, some, uh, some nice action here again. Love Diablo. I uh, love seeing him in action as usual. Um, Again, I'd love to see uh, Veldor in action in this kind of new form um, a little bit more. Again, we saw a little bit of it in uh, the end of last season, but I want him to be like a major player again. I understand that he's uh, very dangerous, so um, <laughs> can't always be the case, but I hope we get that at some point. But yeah, do let me know what you guys thought about this episode down in the comment section. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys did like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date. Again, apologies about all the cuts, but hopefully I'll see you uh, next week with episode 11, and have a good one.